Hey YouTube! Uh, so today is not going to be a vlog, though I am working on one that has to do with VidCon, and it's getting kind of late, and I gotta get that done soon, but uh, I just have to start this as soon as I can. I need to make a video for Meg Turney's SourceFed Nerds Anime Club, uh, and this is Full Metal Alchemist we're talking about, so I have to get in on this. I have to get in on a Full Metal Alchemist anime club. So, first of all, freaking, oh my god, Full Metal Alchemist. There's so many good things I can say about it. There's some bad things I can say about it, but, I mean, the good is just, like, way up there for me. Because I just love Full Metal Alchemist. The anime, the manga, the new anime, Brotherhood. So... I'm assuming we're going with uh, the first anime, the regular one, because as far as I know, Brotherhood isn't on Netflix right now. It was, but it's not right now, so that's, that's what I'm determining. Now, Full Metal Alchemist, it's uh, two brothers who know alchemy, and they uncover this conspiracy, I guess it would be, and they just... Uh, go on and take down the bad guys. It's pretty much Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist in a, a nutshell. Just, um, the first anime doesn't really follow the manga after a certain point. Uh, the manga came first, and then the anime was made by Bone, I believe it was. And, uh, they do a fantastic job. The animation is fantastic. Some of the best, some of the best animation for a uh, shonen anime series that, that at least that I've seen that wasn't movie quality but TV series wise as an anime. Some of the best animation. And Bone does a fantastic job. They also do Soul Eater and the animation, oh, they do a really good job. And when I say that they don't follow the manga, is that after a certain point they caught up to the manga and instead of doing what a lot of anime do, like Naruto and Bleach and One Piece, they didn't create some filler arc that just isn't up to par with what the rest of the series is. They went off and did their own thing and it turned out really well. It was really well done. They didn't uh, they didn't sacrifice the uh, the integrity of Full Metal Alchemist, and they did a great job of coming up with their own story and creating their own ending for the anime. And uh, that's something I love about Bone, I guess. Uh, the main characters are Ed and Al, Edward Elric and Alphonse Elric, and they. Just the, the the brother relationship that they have, like, I have a lot of the same things with my brother, so I really connect with the uh, the brother, the the main characters in Full Metal Alchemist, because there's just some great, great chemistry between the two characters written they were written really well and they're acted really well even in the American one uh, and it's just really great I say that a lot okay I really don't have a lot that I'm not much for reviewing but I just needed to get in on this anime club because it was Full Metal Alchemist and I just just felt I had to and there's just so many things I love about it, and I can't really put a lot of that into words, but FOMA Alchemist is a great intro to anyone uh, looking to get into anime if uh, if they like the action uh, side of things, and uh, I'm going to say magic, but it's not, it's like magical science, I guess. Uh, then they're really gonna like Full Metal Alchemist. And next week, if we're not watching Trigun or Digimon, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Brother! I can't see!